Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a bump update and I am 33 weeks and five days pregnant, I wanna say. It's crazy, I have like six weeks and I think two or three days until I give birth to this baby um, if it decides to come on my due date, which I'm hoping and praying it comes on my due date because then my husband's parents will be here to be able to watch the boys because if you guys don't know, we moved from New Jersey to Charleston and we have zero family here or like any help with our kids and stuff. So we're hoping that it works out where I do have the baby um, on my due date. And I think it's a really cool due date because it's 2-2-2020, which is really cool and super easy to remember. But um, I think they're planning on coming here either like the December, no, not December, January 27th and then they'll be here um, that whole time and then obviously once they have the baby they'll be here for a few more days after that so I'm super excited and I'm praying like I said that I have the baby on my due date or right around it when they're here and if not we do have a backup plan but anyways I had my growth scan and I know a bunch of you guys have been asking me how that went and everything um, it went very well everything looked great on the baby um, I guess my belly just measures the fundal um, measurement is just smaller. Um, it might must just be like the way the baby's laying or the way I'm carrying. I have no idea. But the baby measured just perfect and right on track. It is 4 pounds, like 15 ounces, something like that. 4 pounds, 13 ounces, I can't remember. Um, but it's in the 33rd, no wrong but it is in the 43rd percentile so baby it looks great i don't know what the heart rate was um they didn't say and baby she didn't check it like um i don't even know if she checked it actually i think the ultrasound tech did check the gender um obviously we told i told her that i didn't want to know and um she was asking me like what names i had picked out for either boy or girl and then I had my doctor's appointment right after and I did ask my doctor and I've been waiting for like two weeks now so I could confront my doctor and ask her if she knew the gender and try to like feel out if she ended up telling me because if you guys saw my last update you guys know that I felt as if she basically told me that I was having a boy um, and I was like taken back like wait did you just tell me I was having a boy? Because she said something like, it's probably a boy. Or I think she said like, it's a boy because I have two boys. So she was like, it's a boy. And then she said, if your husband wants a girl, he's going to be, he's going to be surprised. So I don't know, like that was just so forward. And then I had so many DMs saying that, sometimes their doctors just like say stuff like that and come to find out their doctors don't even know the gender and I have had ultrasound techs say that the doctors don't know the gender a lot of the times that the ultrasound techs don't even tell them the gender or don't even put the gender on the chart for the doctor to know unless it was like something that like needed to be addressed or something so I straight up asked her I was like so do you know the gender and she was like no we're not we're not, we're not allowed to know or not we're not allowed to know but like no they don't tell us anything only the ultrasound text now so like she said it like right away and like was, seemed like she was taken back like oh no like we definitely we none of the doctors know only the ultrasound text now unless it's like something they need to know so i felt very convinced that maybe it was just uh, oh and then she even said then she even said, I think it's a boy because you're having boys or something. So maybe like statistically she thinks like it's a boy and she said that because I have boys. But I was like, yeah, I guess we'll see. So I do feel like I have that backwards. Like I will be surprised no matter what. Um, I still think it's a boy. Rob definitely thinks it's a girl. Maverick thinks it's a girl. Paxton thinks it's a boy now because I think it's a boy. I could care less what it is. I just want it to be healthy. But, I mean, when you're trying not to find out the baby's gender 
for a reason of like wanting that surprise you feel like a big piece of like the moment is taken from you when a doctor like slips up so i feel like i do have that back now where i feel like <laughs> i have no idea this baby could be a boy or it could be a girl we'll see um so i do i am happy about that how it turned out and everything looks fine with the baby we don't know the gender the doctor doesn't know the gender let me know the dms if you believe her story i swear she seemed like taken back and like very like convincing like no she doesn't know the gender they don't tell her so i did believe her but anyways um i'm going to show you guys my new diaper bag that i got if you didn't see my last vlog um when i was in new jersey i got a new diaper bag um some people are gonna be like that is not a diaper bag um but i got a amazon gift card you can get them from itsy Ritsy or you can get them from amazon but i asked for an amazon gift card for my pollyanna and then i just like paid the rest of how much this was because it's not cheap it's eighty dollars for this bag but it's so cute and i'm so excited i still have my rila book bag that i will be using and i'll like keep that in the car with like extra clothes and diapers and stuff like that but most of the time like i'm not going out for hours and i just want to pack like some diapers and an extra pair of clothes so this is what i got it looks like this it's by itsy ritzy and it's the back and it's a crossbody like bag so it has a super long chain and you can adjust it i really like this a lot i think it's so cute and in the front section and surprisingly it actually does hold a lot of stuff i brought this to hershey park with us and i had in here my phone my camera um an extra pair of sweatpants for maverick and um underwear and i still had room so when you open this up it looks like this it has a section where you can put wipes and you'd like pull the wipes out through here and i usually always just have a smaller pack of wipes with me i have a panty liner in here because you know you just don't know when you're gonna need a panty liner but yeah so I always keep a smaller pack with me, but it can hold like a whole entire pack. And then on this side, it has the changing pad and then another section for whatever you want to put in there, like binkies or something. And then it has the changing pad, which changing pad is not like huge, but I mean, it's, it does the job. I probably wouldn't put binkies in here just because like this would be where my kids like wipes and like butt pad would be but i would put like all my diapers in here and stuff and then on this side i would put in here see i feel like i have my sunglasses in here and i have lipstick in here and an extra battery so on this side it has another section you can put whatever you want your phone and stuff like that on this side is where i probably like store the baby's binkies and anything else that i would need still has like a gap for whatever else you want in there clothes and stuff like that i could definitely fit like extra clothes in here and diapers probably like four diapers and wipes no problem and then the last section is this back part which is this is where i put like my money debit card keys if i need to put them in there um so yeah i really like this again this is from itsy ritzy it's a little pricey for sure i will admit but i think it's worth it and especially if you don't feel like always having a huge diaper bite on you and just like feeling like i said in my last video like don't take this the wrong way but it's like sometimes i just don't want to always look like a mom like i don't want to always like i want to look cute still <laughs> when i have my kids with me i think that is super cute have like your baby and then you have like your little diaper bag especially when you're not doing like a big trip but anyways that oh well, let me show you the picture that i got which is horrible you guys this baby does not like to cooperate with pictures i have one good picture of this kid and where is it here the last picture they took was horrific it, like i don't even know and it looks like here's its head and its nose and it looks like it's like puckering its lips i don't know how well you guys can see that but yeah that's the picture this is still by far the best one that i have of the baby it's the best like that's the best profile picture that i have of the baby i think this is a really cute one but i didn't ever get like a pretty like silhouette picture 
of the baby at the 20 week scan because it just would not cooperate. Anyways, those are the pictures that I got. That is the update on the growth scan and my doctor um, update of like if I think the doctor spoiled it for me. Leave me a DM, please, over on Instagram what you think after hearing what I, like what the doctor said after I asked the doctor because I do believe the doctor, especially how many people reached out and told me that um, their doctors don't know the gender a lot of the time. A couple ultrasound techs reached out and said that they, same thing, that the doctors don't know the gender unless they have to for some reason. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Give this video a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys later. I'm trying to get back on track because we have just been like crazy traveling. Um, my husband's sister and fiance were here for two, three days. They got engaged. We like, um, I film, we filmed the whole thing and I edited the video. I might put it up for you guys. Um, it's going to be like not monetized or anything like that because I put like one of their favorite songs to it, but I think it came out really cute and I like it a lot. So that's like, we've just been so busy. They just left literally like 20 minutes ago. So I'm trying to get back on track for you guys because I do miss vlogging and I miss talking to you guys. But anyways, I will see you guys later.